everybody. Welcome. We're going to be talking about ISU football today. I'm Jerry Miller, and joining me is Idaho State University head football coach Rob Fennessy. Rob, you're in your fifth year as head coach now, and this last year, going back to last season, which was just in the spring, uh, has been, I know, a lot different than any other seasons you've coached. Uh, what kind of adjustments have you and your staff had to make with such a short turnaround from the end of the spring season, which had six games in it, to trying to get ready for this season, which starts Saturday with the home game with North Dakota? Yeah, what's what's interesting is, you know, once we got going into our games last spring, it didn't feel anything uh like like any different, you know, uh, other than we're playing in November or playing in January and February and March. Uh, but once you get going, once you get into your routine, once you get into your Monday through uh, Saturday routine, nothing really you forget about what time of year it is. You know, it all feels the same. But the the biggest thing is. We we gave the guys a month of May off. We knew it'd be tough to. uh, uh get them back like right away after the season, you had to give them some time to decom them as well as us time to decompress. And, uh, we sent them home, told them to take the, the month of May off. And then they came back for Jane or for June and were really good about getting into the routine of lifting and, and, uh, getting back to some normalcy. So, uh, other than that, it wasn't really a, you know, once we got going and practicing and and doing the day by day things that you do during the season, it wasn't that big of a deal. Have you seen a carryover of positives from uh, having a six game spring season to now when you're about ready to kick off again? Absolutely. The guys, the guys were uh, uh, frustrated. They were uh, not satisfied with the results and came back and got to work real fast, real, and jumped in, uh, said that we're, we're, uh, uh, like <laughs> that said, they just, they just weren't satisfied with how with the way things ended. They wanted to get going again. And then they knew, you know, we're, we're better than two and 14. Are there any negatives from having such a short turnaround? Uh, for us, no. Uh, you know, for some of those teams that went deep into the playoffs, yeah, it was kind of tough. But no, for for our guys, um, it was like it was kind of like spring practice. You know, even though it wasn't, but it was kind of like spring practice. And they uh, uh, took the time, finished finished classes, uh, finished the semester, went to finals, and then came back. You know, early early June, and so uh, no, I. I I don't think there's any negatives for our guys. They're they're all excited about it. All right. You guys kick it off Saturday at home against North Dakota. And I know depth charts aren't Bibles, but on your depth chart for game one, you have just two seniors listed on offense, two on defense, one on special teams. On the other side of that, 16 freshmen and sophomores on your offensive two deeps, 15 on your defensive list and seven on special teams. Talk about the pluses and the minuses of maybe having that kind of imbalance if you consider it to be an imbalance. Yeah, it was interesting yesterday watching the Nebraska-Illinois game. Uh, they were talking about, I think Illinois had, I want to say 41 seniors and super seniors on their on their roster. <laughs> it's like, whoa, you know, we're the other way around. We, we have all these freshmen, you got to understand, some of these freshmen are third year freshmen, you know, like Raiden Hunter. Uh, uh, shoot, he's the one that comes to mind right away, but there's a bunch of guys on there that are in going into their third year of, of college that are, that are still freshmen in terms of eligibility. So uh, we, I think we have close to 50, 40, maybe 50 freshmen in terms of first, second, third year. Um, and we knew offensively, you know, we were only going to have two seniors if uh, if Nate Schubert stuck around and he, you know, he decided to take a job and we brought Jared Scott in. So we still only have two seniors on offense. Um, and that's a good thing for for down the road. But, uh, um, it, you know, it's, it's, it's just one of those weird things that you got to you got to look at your roster and you have to have a good list of of 
what you have at each position and what year they are in order to uh, uh, make sure that you're recruiting to the right spots. But uh, what I like is the fact that we're going to have the, the biggest thing. I love all of our guys. I love our team, but we're going to have this offensive line back for two years straight and, and most of them three years. And that's the biggest thing when you have, when you have a good experienced offensive line that, uh, that helps or a lot that, that that's a starting point for a lot of things. In terms of positions on the field, we're going to focus on your wide receiving core for a couple of minutes, a quarterback, Tyler Vanderwall, man, he opened my eyes. I know he turned a lot of heads in his first uh, outings for the Bengals this spring, but you had that group of young receivers that shook things up on offense when some of the older guys were unavailable. Uh, You've also added some new faces in the receiving core, and some of those guys that weren't in the spring uh, have become available now. Characterize your receiving core and the depth you appear to have there. Well, the the receivers – you know, it was Tanner Connor and the four freshmen at the time. And uh, what what the spring do, did was enable them to uh, get some game experience, not just pra- practice experience, but game experience. So you have uh, uh, Xavier Guillory, uh, Christian Fredrickson, you know, Jeff Harrison and Jalen Henderson. Those four have really uh, benefited from the spring, uh, the spring schedule. Uh, in addition, we uh, we signed Jared Scott, who's going to be a tight end slash uh, uh, wide receiver, and then Shane Daly Jr. from South Dakota State, who's coming in and made an impact. Plus, you know, we're looking at getting Demonte Horton back uh, after a, a, a lengthy uh, rehabilitation due to some injuries. So, uh, the experience that those young freshmen got plus the addition of, of the two transfers and having DeMonte come back really, really gives us some depth at that position where, uh, you know, you have to have your quarterback throw, and com- uh, throw passes and complete passes, but you have to have guys that, that catch it and move the ball. So um, I'm looking really, really looking forward to watching those guys come out and perform on Saturday. Uh, that, that gives us some depth for, for some years to come that we haven't, uh, uh, we haven't seen around here. Well, I know uh, in the spring we had to go without Michael Dean, and and uh, there were some names that were absent there, but those young guys really, really caught our attention. And I'm excited to watch what's going to happen when you guys put the ball in the air this year. Final question. I know your goal is to be in the battle for the Big Sky title every single year and to get into the playoffs. Which side of the ball? is going to have to, I guess I would say, make the most improvement the fastest for you to be where you want to be at the end of the year. Yeah, I'm going to throw some coach speak at you. All okay. three phases. All, all three phases. We need uh, uh, we need the offense to be better at, 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 at possessing the ball, uh, not turning it over, scoring points. We need defense to uh, stop people, not give points up, and to uh, – take the ball away and then uh, special teams, whenever we're on the field, whether it's a, a score team situation or a, or a, you know, punt return or whatever, we, we have to be uh, really strong in that phase where David Fia Fia really has guys going that way. So uh, it, it's a team thing. We got to get better at every phase of what we do. And uh, uh, it'll be, it'll be fun to see the commitment these guys made this summer, the commitment the coaches have made, uh, all that it, it's going to be it's going to be fun to see that uh, come to fruition on Saturday. Rob, we can't wait till Saturday. Looking forward to seeing you then and talking to you. Good luck this week and good luck Saturday. Yeah, let's fill up Holt, man. Come, hey, get your tickets. Let's go. It's going to be fun. Come make some noise. <laughs> all right, kick off against the Fighting Hawks of South Dakota Saturday at one inside Holt Arena. Coach Fantasy, thanks a lot. Thank you. 